Hey there, Chargers. On today's show, we'll be talking about senior voter registration, the service learning trip to Vietnam, and freshman and sophomore class officers. I'm Gabby Powers. And I'm Melissa Argenbright. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. Photo Makeup Day will be next Wednesday from 7.30 to 1.30 in the cafeteria. Make sure that if you haven't taken your photo or you would like to retake it, be there. DPHS Democrats will be holding a school-wide senior voter registration drive this week. They will be going to every 12th grade English class to explain the registration process. They will be outside the cafeteria on Friday to accept filled out forms. Interested in traveling to Vietnam? The DP International Baccalaureate Program is excited to announce their second annual service learning trip to Vietnam for spring break. If you are currently enrolled in an IB class or are interested in finding out more information, stop by Madame Lentz Classroom H23 for an informational meeting this Thursday at 6 p.m. And now a video introducing the candidates for freshman and sophomore class officers. I'm Sarah Jang and I'm running for freshman class president. Hi, I'm Tally Radcliffe and I'm running for freshman class president. I'm Cory Dunker and I'm running for freshman vice president. Hi, my name is Patty Pina and I'm going for vice president. Hi, I'm Kara Boger and I'm running for freshman class treasurer. Hi, I'm Amelia Kling, I'm running for freshman class treasurer. Hi, I'm Milani Busipal and I'm running for freshman class historian. I'm Julie Lemus and I'm running for freshman class historian. Hi, I'm Dylan Beanstalk, and I'm running for sophomore class treasurer. Hi, I'm Frida Camarillo, and I'm running for sophomore class treasurer. Hi, I'm Michael Diaz, and I'm running for sophomore class treasurer. I'm Amara Hymas, and I'm going for your sophomore class treasurer. I'm Karina Siddiq Pramod, and I'm running for sophomore class treasurer. I'm Matthew Spencer, and I'm running for your sophomore class treasurer. Hi, I'm Ian Young, running for sophomore class treasurer. I'm Izzy, and I'm running for sophomore class historian. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I'm running for sophomore class historian. Hello, my name is Tyler Schillinger, and I'm running for sophomore class historian. Hi, I'm Kiana Sanaki, and I'm running for sophomore class historian. Hi, I'm Layla, and I'm running for your sophomore class historian. Hi, my name is Lizette Rivera, and I am running for sophomore class historian. Voting for. Voting for the freshman class officers will take place on Friday in all English 9 classes. Voting for the sophomore officers will also take place on Friday in all English 10 classes. There is a Charger Gear blowout sale this Thursday and Friday at lunch. There will be items on sale for $5, $10, and $20. Come to DP's first open mic night this year on Friday at 7 in the EPAC drama classroom. You don't have to perform. You can just be an audience member and be part of the fun as well. For details, visit the theater company's website. Colorado State University will be in the library tomorrow from 10 to 10.25 a.m. Get a pass from the Career Center today to visit them. And now a message from leadership regarding this week's football game. I knew we should have taken the Reuter bus. Yeah, it was only 15 bucks too. And it includes the price of your ticket. I heard they're getting food on the way I'm back so too. so hungry. Come support your team this Friday, hop on the Reuter bus, come get a permission to slip from Scott. Be there! Wow, that sure sounds fun. That's it for us until Friday, Chargers. Now over to Caleb with the sports report. Chargers. Over the weekend, girls volleyball competed in the Hard Driven Challenge at Clovis North High School, finishing 4-3, and three, improving their overall record to 14-11. and 11. Highlights from the weekend include Josie Dowdy's great offense and phenomenal serves, Morgan Gomez's play on offense, and Danica Minich's ability to play multiple positions. The girls are at Buena today, so be sure to wish them luck. 
Blake Irwin made a statement at running back and was honored as the Athlete of the Week by the Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable. A key to Irwin's success is the blocking of sophomore Angel Flores and senior Joel Garcia. In cross country, Hunter Clark was given an honorable mention, and it was noted that freshman Joseph Perlman has emerged as a key runner on the team as he's been the number four runner in the last two races. Events happening today include girls tennis hosting San Marcos and girls golf hosting San Marcos. Reminder that boys soccer has tryouts coming up on the 3rd and 4th of October. That's all I have for you today, Chargers. As always, I'm Caleb, and we are DP. Now over to Nico with Pop Culture. Because who else better to talk about popular people than a social outcast? Anyway, top three songs this week, according to the Billboard Top 10 list, are Closer by the Chainsmokers fe featuring Hasley, Heathens by 21 Pilots, and Cold Water by Major Lazer and featuring Justin Bieber and Mo. Three deaths this past week include rapper Sh Shoddy Lowe, actor Bill Nunn, Miami Marlins pitcher Jose Fernandez, and Hall of Fame golfer Arnold Palmer, who had, who had a drink named after him of equal parts lemonade and iced tea. That actually sounds really good right now, but I have to stay loyal to my chocolate milk. <sighs> Lastly, if you have dreadlocks, you are, it is now legal for you to be banned from a workplace. Hair is no longer protected against discrimination. That's all for this week, DP. I'm Nico. Now we're to Lindsay and Sky with the weather and surf report. Hey DP, what's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, what's a frog's favorite kind of soda? I don't know, what is a frog's favorite kind of soda? Soda hop! Ha! Good one, Lindsay. Today's temperatures will reach a high of 88 degrees and a low of 60 degrees with 36% humidity and 8 mile per hour winds. Tomorrow, we'll cool down a little bit with a high of 80 degrees and a low of 59 degrees with 63% humidity. So dress in slightly cooler attire tomorrow. The surfer today will reach its highest at 7 tonight, but only expect about 2 foot waves tonight. So maybe it's time for tide pooling instead of riding those big ones. Make sure to shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have, have a, a grand, grand day. day.